Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Bad Batch video. So today we got episode 6 decommissioned. As always my dear Meglorians, I'm going to be doing a full breakdown of all the easter eggs and then I'm going to give you my honest review. So without any more jibber jabber, let's dive straight into it. Our episode starts back on Ord Mantel, which is where we left off last week. The theme of parenthood is on display once again, but this time it's Echo in the spotlight as he trains Omega to use the bow. Sid tells the Bad Batch to go to Corellia and search for a tactical droid since they have tremendous intel. The mission would benefit both parties. Now evidently Corellia is the home planet of Han Solo that we prominently saw in Solo A Star Wars Story. On Corellia we see a cavernous factory which is very similar to the droid factory from Attack of the Clones. Callbacks to Star Wars Episode 2 are becoming a primary element of this show. For example, in the episode Cut and Run we had the Nexu and in Episode 4 with Fennec Shand we had the chase sequence and now in this one we have the droid factory. To everyone's surprise we got the Martez sisters who we first saw in the Clone Wars season 7, Rafa and Trace. In this episode there seems to be a lot of foreshadowing for an appearance of Ahsoka Tano. As we know from the Clone Wars season 7, Ahsoka met the Martez sisters on Coruscant. Now moving on to our next theme, a big one in this episode was Wrecker's instability and loss of physical strength. It started at the beginning of the episode when he winced inside when they had to climb a flight of stairs at the droid factory. The same thing happens later in the episode when he tells Tekken Echo that he can't make the platform when he has to get to the main control. He tells them it's easy for you to say. When he does make the platform though, he bumps his head badly and was clearly suffering. It's very clear that all of this is caused by his inhibitor chip. I think the most terrifying part is when he collapsed and started to utter the phrase that Crosshair always used. Good soldiers follow orders. I personally found this moment to be absolutely tragic and my heart sank. I didn't want anything bad to happen to Wrecker, but in a way we all knew it was inevitable. Luckily, it seems like it was just a scare, but we can't really know for certain. I definitely see this episode as more foreshadowing for a darker fate down the line. So later on, when our heroes escape with Rafa and Trace, we see Ahsoka's astromech droid on board, R7A7. As most of you know, astromech droids are one of my favourite aspects of Star Wars, and seeing one we already know and love from the Clone Wars brought a huge smile to my face. Now when Ahsoka and Rex fled at the end of the Clone Wars, neither Gigi nor R7 went with them, but this episode really made me hope we'll see Ahsoka soon. Speaking of Ahsoka, we had a major callback to what she told Rafa and Trace in the Clone Wars. In this episode of The Bad Batch, when Rafa asks Hunter why they're not working for the Empire, because that's what clones do, Hunter answered, not all of us, we're different. Rafa answers, I've heard that before. What she's talking about is when Ahsoka told the sisters that she's different to other Jedi. You have to remember that Rafa and Trace adamantly distrust the Jedi based on what happened to their parents. The episode ends on a massive cliffhanger. Since Hunter gave Rafa the tactical droid intel, when R7 runs it, we see the edge of a hologram figure. Someone looking for the Bad Batch. She tells the person that she knows where they are and he might like to know. Now it's really hard to tell who this person is, but my personal guess is that it's a Jedi who survived Order 66. That's just based on the clothing alone and while some people think it's Bail Organa, the robes do not match. It could also be Captain Rex since it's safe to assume he'd want to know about rogue clones. But let me know who you guys think it is in the comments down below. So now my dear friends, I'm going to give you my honest review. I really enjoyed it and as always, the show took us on a fun little adventure. If I had to criticise it, I was hoping this episode would be an Empire based one. It's been a good while since we've seen Crosshair and Tarkin so I hope we go back to them on Kamino next week. I know not everyone is a big fan of them, but I really enjoyed the tie into the Clone Wars, especially with Rafa and Trace. But honestly, I'm just dying for the show to move forward and kind of get to the point. The missions are fun and all, but it feels like every week is just a new one that doesn't lead to anything substantial. Having said that, I understand that the show is paced a certain way and we are building to something huge, so it is important to be patient. I enjoyed the relationship building in this one and the character development as well. Something I found a bit strange in this episode was how quickly Omega was able to master the Zygerian bow. At the start of the episode, her accuracy with aiming was subpar, but by the end at the droid factory, she absolutely nailed it. So overall, I'm going to give this episode a 6 out of 10, which is one mark less than I gave the last one. I did enjoy it though, and it was a pleasant call back to the Clone Wars, so I really can't complain. But I turn it over to you guys. What did you make of today's episode? Did you enjoy it? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below, and who do you think the hologram figure at the end was? I will see you all in the next one. I'm Star Wars Meg wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy.